next presenter is going to be Darren Scott, and he's in the first year of his PhD in computer science. Let's give Darren a big round of applause. Sitting through 10 of these three-minute thesis presentations statistically reduces your overall life expectancy. The NHS recommend an active break from sitting behaviours every 30 minutes to, to mitigate potential risks, which range from slight weight gain to all-cause mortality. In fact, sitting for the length of an average workday increases your chance of a premature death by up to 59%. So what do we do? We all buy devices, we install apps to help us move more. Statistics from the Fitbit app in 2016 show 20,000 daily downloads and a consistent 8 million monthly users from March to September. All of those downloads with no growth. Users are gained, but they are not retained. They float in and out of these doomed three-month love affairs. <laughs> now, whether this is due to the unending nagging of notifications or the simplistic methods employed not keeping our attention, well, fitness trackers don't work. Now the focus of my research is to create a meaningful change in people's health by addressing these common issues. Notification fatigue sets in because people receive messages at inopportune times. By utilizing contextual data, making sure the time and conditions are just right, these notifications could help to stimulate actual behavioral improvement. Now, my passion for this project is to create a system that, through the use of behavior change techniques, could find the right way to make you move. Perhaps you like competition. Perhaps you like outlined instruction. Perhaps you in the back just need to know that you're doing just fine. <laughs> through machine learning algorithms, this system can be personalized, creating individual profiles that match behaviors to methods. When new users join the service, these profiles can help match them for successful techniques much earlier in the process. Now recently, 100 NHS staff took part in a well-being intervention in which some were able to compare their progress against a group average, with this intending to increase their motivation. But here's the twist. This group average was not real. It was algorithmically generated to consistently outperform the user. Now, algorithms such as these must be designed such that they do not supplant the user, but rather empower them to perform better. This system must be designed alongside those using it to create the perfect balance of hands-on and hands-off. This combination of these intelligence will help you mitigate these 15 speeches you will be sitting through. Thank you. Thank you.